That's it. Uh, question, uh, I didn't uh, copy it clearly where the question comes, but anyway, nevertheless, uh, we had, I mean, she's asking, she had something from the other channels uh, with other game drive channels for the other, uh, cha um, other vehicle that animals moving into the other farms. Yeah, we have different funds into the area and different channels that we're using because we're sharing boundaries. We have if animals come in one place to another where we're not allowed to drive, the other guys will be able to contact us and let us if the animal coming from south heading north is crossing the boundary roads. Is how actually we get that. It's our communication in order to uh, really give more information. Uh, also, it's looking forward for the Shangan name for the animals. Uh, I have to be slow because it might be Shangan is one of the languages difficult to pronounce but I would like to take it slowly for you to understand all the or maybe if you want to write it down be able to uh, catch this Njovu it means elephant Njovu elephant Ngala Lion, ingwe, it's a leopard. Mkombe, it's rhino. Nyati, it's buffalo. So it's I'm giving these uh, five uh, species because they are the big five animals. Normally you might hear that on the radio. And Jov, Mkombe, ingwe, ngala, nyati. Is normally is what actually most of the time 80 percent of the radios they use these names for meaning the big animals so it's how actually in Shangan we call it and wild dogs are the name in Shangan? Uh, wild dogs it, it's madach madach it, it's really yeah it's so easy with madach you able to if we talk about madach the Dutch speaking you just put M um, a madach it's a lot more simple that's called wild dogs so it's really all the names in shangan and thank you so much for uh the questions or also for yeah knowing all these uh, shangan names thank you for very much and we're looking forward for this in future as a team of wild dogs.